welcome back so last time I went over what happened while we were routing the truss rod channel for our guitars uh, what we were trying to do what happened with our shaper mishap and what we decided to do to repair the neck so now I'm going to go through a few of the pictures I took of the repair process which are very few uh, because I was totally bummed and figured our project was shot and yada yada and I didn't uh, take much video or many pictures so uh, here we go alright so about to go through all just about all the media that I had for uh, the repair process uh, here we've got the mahogany necked guitar with the channel routed all the way through the neck uh, leaving a leaving a cavity to be patched up with some wood uh, this is the router setup that we uh, came up with um, and uh, you can see how deep the bit is set that is intentional so that we could route through the entire thickness of the neck uh, this here is just fitting a scrap piece of ebony uh, to the back of the mahogany neck uh, what we're going to end up having in that case is kind of a skunk stripe looking uh, deal on the back of the neck and um, actually looks pretty nice and it might add some strength in the neck too because that ebony is some really really hard stiff wood so uh, uh, this here is just showing Bob uh, with a whole bunch of glue slathered on that ebony and uh, to, it's uh, to be fitted into that slot and uh, we got a nice tight fitting joint um, didn't have to really worry too much um, about anything slipping out um, here we've got uh, just another picture of the, the back of the maple neck guitar with the um, excess uh, wood protruding from the top uh, which is to be plane down as we can see here this is Bob just using a small hand plane to plane it down flush with the back of the neck um, obviously we don't have to get too crazy with it here because the entire back of the neck is going to be reshaped at a later time and uh, you know that'll be done using um, most likely a spoke shave alright so here is the back of the neck and you can see the joint there that we made. This is the, um, the patch up job. Hardly noticeable. Um, I believe though we're going to be painting over the back side of this neck anyway so it kind of doesn't matter. The other one that we did with ebony is going to show through and that should look really nice. So uh, anyways we brought it all the way down here to the heel and then that's where we stopped. Let me show you the front side. Okay, with truss rod channel routed. Here you can see where where it started uh, with the patch on the front side. And all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so this is the only video footage I've got of the repair process. And this is the final step after the glue from the patch-up job dried. Uh, there was some excess wood on the inside of the truss rod channel to be routed out. This is Bob using our new setup to route the new channel. And here he is just checking to see that we have routed to the proper depth and that we hadn't repeated our last mishap. So this has been a learning process for me and I hope you all have enjoyed watching. There's a lot more video to come, so please subscribe, and feel free to leave comments, questions. I'll do my best to respond, and as always, thank you very much for watching.